there we are. Hey, Lab Code agents, it's Tristan, but this time I've got Trevor Ainsworth with me, and he's going to be interviewing me. What a mix! <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, we're switching. I uh, was flipping the script here today, um, Tristan, and, and uh, which is which is kind of fun because uh, you know you've got a lot of things that I think people like to hear about, and um, just really appreciate you know, having us out here today and coming out. And uh, again, we we're just saying you are always busy. You're always giving time, and again, just super thank you for making some time with us today. Thanks, bro. Well, <laughs> thanks for the idea of putting this together. So thank you. Yeah. So, you know, um, how this, you know, kind of came about is as you put the video out, it was about three weeks ago. I think you got about a thousand views since then. And we're in this crazy COVID time, right? I mean, things are changing. And that was, I saw that video, it just hit me to so many little spurs of opportunity that could jump off of that. I mean, it's a home bar, I'm still a seminar, but all these things you can do for, for, for nurture, for, for follow-up, for engagement, to, um, to grow your leads, to grow market share. It's, it's like, a, I mean, in its own, it's a ninja tactic to go into a market that you've never been in and start grabbing market share. Yeah, dude, it's uh, honestly, it came, from, it came from me interviewing other people and I, Kimberly Meserve, so I have to give her credit. She was doing this uh, live, right? In, in person, she was doing these seminars in person and we interviewed her a week into COVID. And she said, hey, I'm gonna try this online, right? And she says, and I said, well, how are you gonna do that? She's like, well, I'm using Eventbrite. And so that's what started the whole process. I'm like, wait a second, I've got so much, I got so many mad skills on Facebook. Why don't I just go all in on this and tweak it? But it was an idea that I got from another agent, right? From listening and interviewing. So, dude, let's, uh, let's get right into this. Uh, I'll explain the process and then you ask me any questions you want and you interject. And I know, Trevor, you've got a product too. I mean, what, what, uh, let's, let's uh, chime in with your product really quick. Oh, sure. Well, thanks. Um, you know, we're, we're realtors, uh, three realtors. And we do have a follow-up, uh, automated follow-up tool called Shout Boss which um, with the webinars that I'm going to be running with this particular process, the, the, the home seminars, because I'm still in, I'm still in the business, um, we're going to be shooting things off to sending texts and voicemail drops and things like that. So our, our system just basically does um, automated follow-up, voicemail drops, uh, email, text, uh, pre-written campaigns. It's affordable. We're agents. We're, we just love to give back. We, we made something that we used ourselves five, six years ago that became something that people also wanted. Uh, who would have thought people didn't want to make their own phone calls <laughs> dude oh i love i love that you guys created that so thank you for that it works great so yeah this this bit here i mean this this whole seminar this whole bit virtual bit i mean it's like it's it's timely because you look at um so my wife uh family was in the um travel agency business in the 80s and 90s for those of you who remember travel agencies you actually had to get a plane booked. You had to call these people go on vacation. They call a travel agency. Literally, their company, multiple locations in multiple states, went a lot of business overnight, like yeah. Expedia. <clears throat> like it was, it was crazy. And this COVID thing has kind of put things. I mean, real estate agents we react real quickly, right? We adapt fast. But mm -hmm. this forced it to happen. And these tools, like we're teaching, like you're learning right now, is something that I think in the future this is how real estate's going to be. I mean, things change and, and it's ripe for a disruption. And this thing here, boy, when I saw it, I was like, Oh, this he's on it. Like, this is so right. So good. Dude. Thank you. All right. So let's get right into it, dude. Thank you for that uh, yeah. awesome intro and explaining who you are and what you do uh, and how we got here. So let's, let me, sh let me start. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Uh, let me just find the right screen. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, got it. Uh, so again, let's start off by saying I got this idea from talking to other agents like Kimberly Mazur, and she was doing it. And I thought, well, why don't we try to do it as a lead ad instead, right? Why am I trying to reinvent the whole world and just capture their information and get right into it? So you may have a lot of questions. I may lose some of you. I did record this originally. It's on my YouTube channel, but here I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask questions. So uh, this is kind of like a master class. Um, so let's, let's get right into it. I'm going to share my Facebook page and you can see that's you and I, I'm just going to go to my Facebook homepage right there. And that's my homepage here at the very top. 
uh, you have create. Now I need you to understand there. Oh, can everybody see, first of all, can everybody see my Facebook page? Right. Uh, Trevor, you can uh, see it. I've got it hundred percent. Cool. Let me see on the chat box guys. Yes. All right. Perfect. This is your Facebook page. One thing you're going to need to do is one, come up with an idea behind what you want to create here. My idea was this. I wanted to create an online buyer present, uh, online buyer seminar. You can do an online buyer seminar or you can do an online seller seminar, either one, right? Now behind this, I thought, well, I need a brand, right? So the first place I went to, the first place I went to was not YouTube, it was Canva. I'm on YouTube right there. So I went to Canva. Now this is the back end of Canva and I thought, well, I need a brand right? So Trevor, I had to think, I'm like, well, I need a brand and I need to stand for what I want it to stand for. And I'm going to go through all of my designs so you can see some of the things that we've created here. But the one I'm looking for is this one. So I thought, I'm like, well, what, what can I create? I ended up creating, if you can see that, something super simple. And I focused on the buyer side of this. You can do buyers, sellers, you can come up with whatever name you want. I went with specifically Buyers Academy. This was after running it through my team and we actually went back and forth. We had one that was really good that we didn't take, which was, uh, uh, remember the, the movie Dallas Players Club? Or what was that movie with Matthew McConaughey? Right, right. Something Players yeah. Club. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. So one of my agents said, why don't we do Social Buyers Club? I'm like, oh, that's such a good idea. But we ended up <laughs> going with Buyers Academy. Uh, so Buyers Academy is what we did. And then we, once we created the logo inside of Canva, so this is where we created it. It's here. I just had to find the right one. Uh, Buyers Club in California might get you a different audience. Dude, I know. I know. That's why <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my team was like, guys, I, I don't know if that's the right, <laughs> if that's the right one we want to do. But uh, we ended up going with a Buyers Academy, right? A little bit more professional. And we created it here to then go back and I'm going to show you here. I went to create, can you see my Facebook page, Trevor? Just so I'm yeah, yep. back and forth. Okay. You're on. I went to create, you see create, there's a create button right here. I went to create and I chose page. I wanted to create a brand new page, a business page, right? So I went to page, not group, page, not event, page. And when I created the page, then that's when I started adding everything to it. So I'm going to take you to, I don't want to take you through the process of creating the page. That's on the YouTube link, but I'm going to show you what I did create. And that's um, Buyers Academy. It's right at the top. So here we go. We have 17 people like it. That doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'll show you other stats. Here I had to create two different two different uh, pictures for it. One was the profile picture, right? The little Buyer's Academy section with the little house. And one was this longer version, right? That explains a little bit more. Buyer's Academy, the largest in California, right? First time home buyer. Yes, we focus on first time home buyers. We were very specific, very niche. So now once I created this, I can now go ahead and run ads behind it because I can't run an ad if I don't have a business page tied to this, right? That was step number one. But you see how I had to go create it in Canva. And look so how good I, it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We went with light colors, right? Something more uh, approachable, less, um, less daunting. And you can see some of the ads that we've done here, which uh, hold on if they ever load. I mean, Canva is so good. I'm still using the free version. Canva is like, it's such a killer tool. Everybody should be using that for everything. It really is, dude. It really is. And here you can see some of the ads we've created, which we'll go into. Um, but this is one of the ads. Let me shrink it. This is one the of the ads. Stays the same, all branded. Yeah, yeah same colors, same branding. Uh, this was one of the first ones we ran, right? April 5th at 1 p.m. And uh, let's get right into the details of this. So uh, let me shrink out. Now, in order to create an ad, I, I went here. I went to create again, and I went to add. That's it. That's how easy it is. Uh, that's probably the easiest part. Then it gets complicated, so pay attention. <laughs> this is where I might lose it. Get you. your pencil. 
Get your pen and pencil out, folks. <clears throat> and then if there are any questions, if you can let me know, Trevor, because I might miss any here and there, but. All right, we'll monitor that. Perfect. So here, um, here's, I don't want to continue that one, so I want to start all over. Uh, but here, this is where you're placed. This is the first place you're placed when you click on the create an ad. Now, you know you're creating an ad for housing. So the first thing you want to do is you see this special category section. A lot of people forget to click on this and then wonder why their ads didn't get approved or wonder why their ads aren't running. And that's a big problem. So it's so easy to miss. Let me zoom in here. Special ad category, you click on it. And you have some choices. I'm glad that housing has already clicked for me because I always use it. That's why it's clicked for me. But you have three choices, credit, employment, and housing. If you're going to use it for hiring, like you're hiring for a team, you're hiring for your brokerage, yeah, we do alternate between both. But for this one, it's housing. So let me zoom back out. Now, the only thing I'm interested in over here, let me zoom in, is the middle. See, consideration. And the only one I'm interested right here in is lead generation. So, Tristan, we got a quick question on this Facebook part, and I think we know the answer. It's pretty easy. It's from Dave Marks. He just says he's got a Facebook business page now, but does he need to create a separate page to do this seminar? Um, you don't need to, but I went all the way with branding. I just wanted it to be that specific brand. You don't need to create a new brand. I could have run it through my Tristan and Associates business page. So great question. You don't need to do it. But I, like I said, I wanted to just brand it that specifically. Right? It's free and it's easy to do. You might as well take advantage. Yeah, that's it. So now going back here, we're looking in the middle. We go to lead generation, right? That's what we want to do. We click on lead generation. Now I'm going to zoom out to show you the options that you have. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to name the campaign. You know, for, for this purpose, I'm going to leave it the same. I'm not going to A-B test. That's a whole different seminar. Uh, and I'm going to have a daily budget. No, I'm not going to have a daily budget of 100 because then I'd spend $700 by the end of this. Uh, I want a lifetime budget. Uh, see, it takes it for a week. I want a lifetime budget of, you know, I've been averaging about $200 for this every time. And I threw in a 300 one. So let's say I want to promote this. The lifetime budget of this is going to be $300, right? So let's just stick with that. I'm not going to click on more options. I'm going to go to continue. So far, I've got everybody. Trevor, you're good? Absolutely. All right. Now, my Facebook page. You see here, I'm going to choose my Facebook page. It's not LabCode Agents because I do not want to run this with LabCode Agents. It's actually under the Tristan and Associates. Uh, oh, no, it's not. Well, who, who knew that, right? It's under the, maybe it's under the Keller Williams. Oh, it's under the personal one. There we go. I didn't even know where it was. There you go. Uh, so now under the personal one, I chose my business one, which is that one, Buyers Academy, right? And then all of them will be here, all of your business pages. So let's say you didn't create one specifically for this and you want to run your business page right now for your brokerage or your team or your personal one, it'll be there. Just choose it. I'm going to choose Buyers Academy. What's the date today, Trevor? Is it Thursday? Thursday the 21st. All right, cool, cool. Let's, I'm just going to go with Thursday then. Uh, here we go. We're going to scroll down. That's the one I chose. Make sure it's the right one because I remember two years ago, I ran the wrong ad on lab code agents and I was a mess. Don't do that. I was like, ah, crap. Uh, dynamic creative, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about catalog. You want to go directly to the section that's called audience. That's where you want to go to because right there, you're going to skip through. You're not going to create your own audience. You're going to go to location under audience. And there you're going to edit. You're going to take off US and you're going to choose, let's say for me, I want to target people that are here. So I'm going to probably go Westlake Village because it covers Malibu and the surrounding areas. There we go. And it automatically sets it to the minimum of 15 mile radius. Now I can go more, right? See, that's the minimum. Let me zoom in for you. I can go more. I can go to a lot more than that. 25, right? Now it's much bigger, but some of my agents don't want to go to Hawthorne and Inglewood, right? 
I know I don't. So I'm going to narrow it back down to 15, which is the minimum. That's the beauty of the targeting. You yeah. really can just pinpoint and, and grab them. And again, the, the ninja tactic of grabbing market share with this particular setup, this, this particular strategy is genius, really is, because you can just come into a place you've never been and start lighting the place up with, with online seminars and the agents around will be like, what is going on? How's this guy getting all the market share? Yeah, buyer or seller, doesn't matter, right? And it could even be a wealth building one where you're showing people how to do investments, same thing, right? Second homes, investment, multifamily, like you can, because you can target so so richly with this back end of Facebook. It's, and it's so easy as you've seen. You got it. All right, now, can't change age or gender because it's a housing one, but I can do some detailed targeting. And this is, this is the good part here. I can change some of their interests and I can add them. So all you have to throw in is one and then it'll give you suggestions. So let me zoom in to show you. I always start off with Zillow. You can start off with something else. I always start off with Zillow. Not the premier agent one. I start off with regular zero, uh, Zillow. <laughs> zero, that's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> Zillow. And to see here, there's 36 million people. And those are the, those are the interests. I'm going to click on that. Now, I don't want to have to think of everything else that, that could be of interest to people looking for homes. So I'm going to just go and click on suggestions. And that's the magic button, because look what happened. Now it gave me Trulia, homes.com, house hunting, first time home buyers, realists, all this stuff. So I'm gonna just take it one step further, just to simplify it. And remember, I'm going for first time home buyers, right? This is specifically for them. I'm gonna just do that. And that's it. Now, I wanna zoom out, because I'm zooming in. And I wanna make sure that my audience is still big enough. You see over on the top right, let me see if I can zoom in for you over here. It's not letting me up. No, it's not letting me. Let me zoom out so I can show you. Top right, there's a little meter. Can you see that audience size? It says potential reach, 140,000, right? That's who Facebook is gonna reach. And it says it's in the middle, but you know what? I don't think that that's enough for me. So I might want to not narrow it down as much and take out that Zillow one. And let's see if it changes. It actually made it worse. Check that out. So Zillow may yeah. be the one that's holding me back. So let's go to first time home buyer and delete Zillow. 76. So now the combo of both is the key. Isn't that cool how you can start deciding what to do with that? Well, I love the analytics in the back end. It's so fun and easy to figure out. Yeah, dude, it totally is. And look, I added real estate and now it increased it to 270,000. I like that number. I'm going to go with that. So now I'm done here. I'm done under audience. See, I was under the audience heading. So because what if your market doesn't have 270,000 people? Like, is it still worthy to run this kind of thing? I mean, I, you know, we got some people in different parts of the country. 270 might be a lot, maybe 100,000 or in there. This, this is still something that they can totally use. Oh, no, totally. Because what you're doing is you're relying on Facebook's algorithm to identify the people that first engage with your post and letting Facebook determine who else is very similar to this person with their likes and the options and the things that they act on on Facebook and Instagram and anything else that Facebook owns. They're touching on all these points and they're putting them together on the algorithm and saying, hey, we found a whole bunch of Trevor's. I'm going to just send them to you and I'm going to show them your ad because chances are, because Trevor liked it, all the other people that are like Trevor are going to like it too. And I'm they're right. Facebook. That's how, that's how amazing it is. So uh, now right here, I don't want to click on anything else. You can choose, you can choose where to place your ad, but then that leaves it up to me. And I do not want to decide where to put my ad because I want Facebook to decide. And I'll show you later once we get into it on the next screen, last screen, after we show you on Facebook and I'll show you the leads, I'll show you why it's important to let Facebook decide. Because if I would say just Instagram or just Facebook or just Messenger or just whatever, it doesn't give Facebook the opportunity to throw your ad everywhere and see where most people are engaging on it. That's why people think Facebook's trying to trick you. And it's like, yeah, no, let them do its thing. Let it work. It works if you let it, if you let it do it. You got it, man. That's the key. And I think people just need to understand that uh, their algorithm is extremely powerful because they have so many data points.
right? So we got a couple of questions that popped in, and I see a lot of the KWs on here, KWs guys. They're asking why you didn't do this through command, or could this be done through command as well, or is this targeting available in command? So that's the seems to be a pretty repeating question. Yeah, you could definitely run this through command, but I'll tell you, it's more powerful to run it through Facebook Ads Manager. Uh, but you could definitely run it through command. Does that answer everybody's question? All right, good. I think All that right, was so, it. Cool, cool, cool. So. Here we go, I'm gonna change the schedule just to make sure it's on the right times. What are we today? Today's Thursday, May 20. Okay, so let's just say we're gonna do it for the 24th and I'm gonna start it today. You've gotta to remember that Facebook will approve this anywhere between, between, okay, between five hours to two days. And sometimes they're running a little bit behind because of COVID-19, but uh, I, I usually give it two days. And they usually it's always baffled me because everyone's home. The workers are all working from home. <laughs> it's terrible. I know it's terrible. Uh, so let's just say I'm okay with that, and that gives me enough time to spend my three hundred dollars. Let's say it was a week, right? Uh, this start date is in the past. Okay, so let me change it. You know what? Let me just spread the money out through. We'll do it Saturday, and it's going to end. I'm going to end it on Saturday at. 11 16 p.m. because I'm going to run it Sunday and I want to prepare for for everybody to come through all right so uh, is there an optimal time or a day to run this um usually what Facebook shows is that Tuesdays are the most engaged days all across the board Tuesdays and Wednesdays uh, but I mean right now Facebook's got 70 um, percent more engagement than ever before so Insane. just run it anytime they'll find the right people at the right time in the right area. Now, that's the first page. So there are two pages to this. Not that difficult. It just takes time for you to learn it, right? And then you click on next. So far, it was really easy, right? I mean, as easy as it can get on this. Pretty, pretty basic. I mean, we weren't literally digging too deep. We we're just trying to spread Ooh, the net cool. out there and catch some people. You got it. All right, now I've got some choices here. Number one, just make sure that it is your business page because I'm right here. Sometimes I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to change it. Now I have to go back. It's your business page. If you don't have an Instagram page tied to it, do not worry. Facebook still runs it on Instagram. They'll just pretend that you have an Instagram account, but you don't. They'll run it pretending you do. And I'll show you what they do below. Uh, if you do one, click it though, connect it. Like we have our Tristan and Associates one connected over here. You have the option to run a carousel ad, which is a great idea, but I'm not going to show it to you right now because it takes a little longer. I'm going to go with a single image. You can also go with a video, which would be awesome too, but I'm going to go with a single image. If you're running a video here, do not make it one of these really long videos that nobody wants to watch. Make it a 15 second video or less, right? Something captivating, quick, easy, like an intro. So people can click on more and learn more about it. So I'm going to go with a single image there and I'm going to go to edit image. That's not the image I want to use. I'm going to go change the image. And because I've run this a few times, obviously you see there, we've run it quite a few times, right? I'm going to pick, uh, let's see which one's good. I'm going to pick uh, this one online first time. Yeah, that one looks good. I'll pick that one. I'm going to pick that one, click it. And at the bottom right here, you see under mobile news feed. It's going to show me how it looks on Facebook. You see, all I have to do is hover the middle right here. And then it shows me everything on Facebook, how it looks on mobile feed, how it looks on the desktop feed, how it looks anywhere else that they own, all the other properties they own. So go back to that one. That's how it looks. So far, so good. Now, I want to be like, well, how does it look on Instagram? I'm going to go down to Instagram. How does it look on my Instagram? Even though I don't have an Instagram, right? It's still showing up. And then how does it show on Instagram stories? Because Instagram stories has over 500 million stories running in one day. That's why I want it on Instagram. And I want Facebook determining if it's good or not, right? What's my primary text? I'd put something along. Well, let me go back to my Facebook one, uh, mobile news feed. Primary text is going to be uh, join us this coming Sunday and then I probably would do something along the lines of uh, emoji. If you have a Mac, you press control command spacebar 
and you have emojis pop up. Yay, surprise, that's a little cute hack for you. Control, command, space bar. Uh, and then I put uh, maybe a little house. Maybe I put a little house. And then uh, make sure it's not the broken house. It's the cute little one. There you go. It can be as easy as that. I can, and then you can put a headline. Um, uh, so much to learn, so little time. Or I can put an exclamation mark. Look, I'm not saying my headlines are amazing or primary text is amazing, but you get the gist. I'm just running through this to give you a better idea. Uh, and then the description could be something along the lines of explaining what it is that you're doing. Uh, again, uh, we will be diving deep into, into the process of purchasing a new, oh, your first home, your first home. We will have a lender on hand along with other professionals. All right, let's just pretend that's my thing. And you see how it it, uh, it left it there, right? So you can see how it looks. And then I don't do sign up. I usually click on learn more or download. Uh, those are the two most clicked on um, little buttons more than sign up and usually learn more is the best one. Now I can, I can change other things here. I do not want to, but here's where the magic happens. Let me see the time on this One thirty. Good. This is where the magic happens. This is why. So this is why when somebody asked, why wouldn't you use command? This is why I don't use command. Pay attention. Cause this is the sexy part. I can ask questions here. And I can determine if they're ready based on the questions I'm asking. So I'm going to create this new form for you to show you. You see how instant forms, they're landing pages. That's what they are. Within Facebook, created by Facebook, and they capture people's information. So I'm going to create a new form. That's how easy this is. You all right, little buddy? Sorry, my dog's it sounded like he was choking on something. All right. This is the section right here. You have some options. You have more volume, higher intent. If you do higher intent, it requires one more step from the consumer that they swipe and they accept. I'm gonna go with, with more volume, right? Just for the purpose of this. So it's already clicked, great. Now I'm gonna go to in intro. As I change things here, you're gonna see them change on this example on the right-hand side. Let me zoom in more so you're able to see. Uh, headline, I'm gonna say the headline is a uh, first time home yeah hold on first time first time home buyer seminar and if you misspell things people will call you out on it so do your best not to misspell anything uh first time home buyer seminar first Everyone's time script buyer. spelling be champion at home on their phone <laughs> yeah there you go online seminar <laughs> Uh, use the image from your ad. You definitely want to use the same image so people don't think that you took them somewhere else that doesn't have anything to do with what they clicked on, right? You want them to have that, that, that seamless process. And then you can type up some other stuff here, blah, 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 blah. Um, you could put like, join us online live, something like that. Now, here's the good part. I'm going to go to questions. Let me zoom down there we go all right so questions i'm going to have a pre-fill information i'm going to enter a message let's say uh, i want to enter let people know how the information they give uh, will be used and shared so let's say we wanted to say hey we're going to call you or we're going to notify you whatever i just go directly into the questions what type of questions are going to be asked well i want your email number one so i can send you a zoom link right and if you can automate that, I won't even go into that, but you can automate that through, through Zapier. Next, I want your full name. Definitely, I want to know who you are. And then here's the cool part. I can add the categories and check out what I have. I can have other contact fields. Well, I do want your cell phone number, right? Yep. Sure, I want that. Now, I can add other things like, well, should I even ask for their address? They probably won't fill it out, but... I do want to ask certain other questions like check this out. I can go to post zip code so I can know where they're at. 
they might fill out their zip code, right? But what if I want to do other things like demographic questions? I'm not sure everybody would fill them out, but there's that option, right? Even their job title. So let's say I'm done right there, right? And I wanna be able to have a pre-fill question. Look at this, I skipped this on purpose for you because I wanted to leave this to the end. Custom questions. Well, I wanna ask a question and I wanna make it multiple choice, Trevor, because chances are you're not gonna take time to fill stuff in, right? So I'm gonna ask a question like, are you looking to buy in the next 90 days? Question mark. And then I pre-fill it, yes, no. And look, yes, no, they click on it. Now I'm done with that one. I can ask another one if I wanted to. Right now that it goes here, now it's added, easy. I can ask, well, do you need to sell a home? Are you, do you have enough for your down payment? Are you already pre-qualified? Have you talked to a lender? I can ask any question they want here. This is the and cool it raises, part. It. And it raises the quality of leads. It does, it enhances it. Now I know, I, now I know what conversations to have with them. One, one other one that I would add is, <clears throat> have you talked to a bank about purchasing a home? Right, you can ask that and then just put the same thing. Yes, no. You can come up with whatever questions you want. I'm just throwing questions I ask normally. I always ask for this one. The very first one, I usually always ask for that one. All right, so let's say we're done here. We just had our privacy policy um, to a link to our text and link to our URL. People are like, well, where do I get that? I'm like, well, it's pretty easy. You go to your, um, let's go to my Keller Williams, Keller Williams Westlake Village website. And that, that's it right there. I'm going to go to the very bottom. You're going to see a privacy policy as soon as it comes up. And that's at the bottom. Hold on. Let me shift. On my screen, Zoom's at the bottom, so I have to move it. Uh, you see privacy policy right there, right? I click on it. Now I have the link to my privacy policy. Easy. I go back to Facebook, not that one, over here. And I put the URL. Um, I could put a privacy policy or whatever you want to call it. It's already there. Uh, our privacy policy. And you can add a customer disclaimer if you want, or you don't have to. And you're done there. You could do a thank you screen. Here's where I, this is where I use Trevor to say what's going to happen next type of thing. So I let them know you'll be receiving, and I spell receiving wrong all the time. So receiving a Zoom link. And we will also reach out to you by phone. Thank you. You set me up the expectation. See you soon. Yeah, exactly. Now I can put a website. Uh, let's see. I can use my Keller Williams website or I can use um, Tristan and Associates. You could put the link right back to the Facebook page that you made for the, for the event yeah. as well. I could do that too. Um, I don't know if this one's up yet. Let me see if it's up. Oh, good, it's up. This is my Chime you website. You some extra engagement. You could get in there and kind of, if you had the Facebook page set up, they could have some questions in there. You know, people could leave some uh, type, of, type of question answer that's a little form for engagement. I, I lo just love Facebook's back end so much. It's so, it actually is easy. I mean, it's intuitive. It really does. It asks questions, you answer the questions, you fill in the blanks. It's really good, right? It's like it's building everything for you as you're doing it. You just have to follow the steps. So I added my website there just so people can see it. Uh, if you're, if you miss something, which I did, right. Oops. Uh, I did. It says, let people know. Uh, just put, I just put, thank you. Uh, I just put finish. Now it should save everything. It's done. It's going to use this <laughs> format. I can go through, let me move this screen again for me. I can go through the process and show you what it is here. What happens after they fill this in? Right, first time home buyer online seminar. Join us, uh, join us online live. Are you looking to buy it in the next 90 days? Have you talked to a bank about purchasing a home? Once they do that, it takes them there. It pre-fills their information for them, right? So this way they don't have to fill it out. Then it tells them to a private, takes them to a privacy policy, and then it says thank you, you're all set. 
Uh, you'll be receiving a Zoom link and we'll also reach out to you by phone. Thank you, see you soon, right? And then they go, they can click on our website or they can end it right there. And then literally, that is all you do. You confirm, if I confirm it's gonna charge me $300, well, not all of them, but it's gonna start it and I don't wanna have to end it. Now, what time is it? Oh, good, I've got time to show you what the leads look like. <clears throat> Let me go through some questions first. Um, I'm gonna stop the share. Let's see what kind of questions we've got here. Yeah, a lot of the command questions, which you definitely got to, which was good. Okay, uh, Tristan, I wanna talk, what's up, Anant? Tristan, I have wanted to target homeowners, sellers that would have to renovation or home repairs or home improvements as a first interest. Yes, you got it. Uh, actually, you'll see some of the suggestions there. Just type in Zillow and then just type suggestions. It'll populate some great ones. Once you narrow it down to one, click on more suggestions for that one and it'll populate more. Uh, great question, Anand. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, do we have to answer the questions? What percentage complete all the information? So Katrina, I put up questions there because I don't want crap leads. The more questions they answer, the chances are that these are real people that'll show up. That's why I ask more questions. If they don't answer my questions, I don't want them. So um, definitely ask some more questions. That's why I love going through Facebook instead. Any idea what to do, how to contact Facebook if you want to stop running an ad? I'll show you how to do that right now. That's an easy one. How come you don't run the ad through Lead Accelerator? Is there a reason? Um, Am I getting a name wrong? What's Lead Accelerator? I don't know what that is. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, do we create a business page? Yeah, you don't. if you don't have one, you have to create one. Cool. How come you didn't use command? Um, I answered that one, right? So Yeah, the lead uh, forms. If you're hosting us, how did you get the pre-fill answers to your questions? I recorded it. I'm gonna put up the link to YouTube there. I go through it in process, so step by step. Uh, we were hosting a seminar more than one time. Can you set it so that you can choose day or time? Yes, you can. Uh, can you do an ad for sellers all the time? And you can do the exact same thing I just did. Oh, Lead Accelerator is command. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, Lead Accelerator was command. That's what it was. Uh, are you using Zapier to connect Facebook? Yes, I am. And I am. Um, that's a, that takes actually a whole longer process, but I am. And I touch on it on the YouTube video so you can watch it towards the end. I think Trevor put it up there at the beginning. I'll pop it in again. Uh, Katrina, yes, we have done seller seminars and they've been really good. I'm gonna show you uh, our buyer seminars so you can see what we've done. Uh, because our buyer, here, I'll just go right into it. This way we don't delay it anymore here. Let me share my screen. Great questions, by the way. How far in advance do I run my ads? I'm running them about a week before, no longer. And let's say I'm done with this one. I'm going to go to ads manager, right? I'm going to leave the page and it's going to want me to do it again. So um, I go to ads manager. If you got lost, let me go back to it. Hold on. Let me shrink this one. I'm going to go back to it and show you where I was. This is Facebook. Let me shrink it, shrink it. Uh, when you go to create, you see how you have all these choices. You could just go to add. And then you could just find ads manager on the top left there. See, it wanted me to, I'm going to start all over on that one. Click on ads manager. And then it takes you to the ads that you've been able to run. Uh, all of the campaigns that you've had. Let's go with, uh, you know what? Let's go with this one since it's already here. It's completed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click. You have some choices here. You see campaigns, ad sets, and ads. All right. I have the buyer seminar that I ran on this one. Uh, and it's completed. I went for the bid strategy of lowest cost. Don't worry about that. That's what it's set to, so you're fine. This budget was $300. I got $7.32 lead, uh, a lead, right? Now, I can't click on it here, but if you go, as long as this is clicked right there, and you go to add for one campaign, you see that? You click it, all of a sudden, this becomes blue. Now it's a hyperlink. Now I'm gonna click it and it's gonna say, well, do you wanna download all the leads? And yes, I do. I definitely wanna download them, right? People are asking, I'll show you how I downloaded it. People wanna know how you stop an ad. Well, if it's running where I showed you ads manager, you went there, you can actually turn it off and on right here. If it was running, it would show me. Let me unselect it and go back. 
it'll, it'll, it'll show you, hey, turn off or on, turn off or on. That's how easy it is. So let's, it's actually over here on this side. Uh, but we go to ads for one campaign. Now I'm gonna click on this hyperlink and I'm gonna download this. And this is where I wanna show you the magic. It's a CSV file. If you go on the YouTube page, uh, the YouTube video that I shot for this, I went on how to connect it to follow a boss or a CRM. Um, I went into it about 10 minutes. So take a look at that. Now let me unshare this screen and share the other screen so you can see the download. Tell me if you can see that, Trevor. We got it. All right, perfect. We got it. So this is what it looks like. It gives you ID numbers, uh, more ID stuff, and all this good stuff. I don't care any for that. I, I care for this towards the end, right? And here we go, all the 41. I can scroll all the way down. I'm gonna zoom in so I can show you. I wouldn't have suspected that they come from Instagram so much, but they do, right? But look at this. Are you looking to buy a home in the next 90 days? Yes, 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 yes. You yes, can't beat that. Yes. I mean, that is you see how powerful that is? This is why I don't use command all the time. The command's awesome. They simplified it, but it's missing a lot. So don't just stick to one thing. Try to see where you can get better quality leads from. And I mean, it doesn't get any better if you go directly to Facebook. So here I got their phone number, right? I got their email address. I got their name. And then if you want to do this manually, you can. You can add it manually to wherever you want. Um, we, we have it connected so that it goes and drops in automatically and it gets assigned to an agent. Um, that's how easy that part is. Now, once you're ready to go, you need a Zoom account to bring in people. I don't bring in people into a Zoom meeting. I do a Zoom webinar. So I pay for the Zoom webinar portion of this, which is just an extra $49. But if I'm already spending $300 on this, why not spend an extra $50 on getting the right Zoom, right? So I set up the Zoom and I send them a link. You can automate that through Zapier as well, right? Uh, the first two we didn't, so we had to mail them out, which was actually better because when we reached out to them, Trevor, we were like, hey, Trevor, it's Tristan. You just signed up for our, our online seminar here. I'm going to send you a link through Zoom. Trevor, do I have your right email address? Is it Trevor at? So it gave us an extra yeah. reason to talk to them and engage with them. We actually loved that approach so much that we took off the automated Zoom link. Because we wanted well, to call so it's relevant because they've just clicked on it. They've just done this. They know what they signed up for. And now you're speaking to them about it as opposed to, hey, you signed up on the website. You're looking to buy a house maybe. This is, you're on the webinar because you signed up for it. I'm calling you because you come to this seminar. You already clicked. Great. The, the ice is broken. That's it. It's a great call. A fantastic call. Jake, you like those calls, right? Dude, those are, those are way better. You get, it's a quality call at that point. First, you're thanking them. And then you're confirming whether or not that's the real email address. So they actually show up. Right. We're, off, we're giving them. So here's the link. So you can get onto this thing. Yeah, exactly. So uh, there's that. All right. So let me, oh, good. We still have everybody on. I just looked. Uh, I'm going to do one thing really quick here to, I want to show you the actual presentation that we do. How much time do I have? Oh, good. I've got a few minutes. Let me find it. But first, let me grab that video that I did that goes deeper into this. There it is. There it is. All right, everybody, everybody that's tuning in right now, I need you to do one thing, please. This will help you out a lot because you have a lot of questions on this. I just put up a YouTube link. I need you to do two things. One is subscribe and click on the little bell. So every time I do a new video, because I'm always doing things like this, you'll get an email saying, hey, Tristan just uploaded a new video, right? So subscribe. I'll put up the link again. Subscribe, take a look at it. That's the exact video on what I did, did here, the whole process. And now let me show you the presentation, Trevor, because um, one of my agents actually took this on and said, hey, I want to build this presentation out. And he outlined the whole thing for us. His name's Mark Rader. Um, Mark Rader did such a good job. I was like, whoa, dude, you did this? And then he got our lender involved. And our lenders team then redesigned it. It looks really nice. Let me go to it. Uh, buyers. That's the key. When you get someone involved, like a lender or a title person or someone else in your community, you now can piggyback off each other's audiences. It now becomes yeah. a sharing thing to help grow. Yeah. Can you see it? We can. 
Awesome. Thanks, buddy. All right. So now it's the day. Sunday or Saturday, whatever day, you've already sent out the links, right? Everybody's showing, everybody's getting ready to show up. You're preparing. The very first few that we did, Trevor, we actually ran as a as a five part team. So we had we had me, three agents, and one lender. Uh, did you so, do it if you were doing it live, so why not? Yeah, and we did this on a webinar. We did not push it into Facebook at all. We just everybody that showed up. Uh, showed up from those people, those 41 people that signed up, right? And this is what we did. We just went right straight into it. We said, hey, everybody, this is the process. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk about 14 points. And then we split it up between the agents that were on. I introduced everybody and I let the team run on its own. I just sat in the back. I interjected. I asked questions. And look, if you're not comfortable doing it by yourself, always bring in a lender. It's always better with two people because you can go back and forth and riff a little bit, answer some questions, chime in. It's always better. Uh, and then we went into it and say, hey, look, step number one, initial buyer consultation. Let me take you through that. Uh, step number two. And then the lender would interject in between and be like, okay, this is how a pre-approval looks, right? This is what you should look like. And, and then all this good stuff. Um, step two is really long. Then we go, okay, renting versus buying. Then step three, let's go shopping. And then step four, placing an offer. And then question. playing this. You're playing this just like you're doing it live in front of people. I mean, you're, there's, you're going right through. You've got talking points. You're ripping off the things. You've got somebody else to go back and forth with and answer questions. It, it really is. It's, um, it, it's, it's just as much information as you'd get if you were doing it live in front of people. That's it, dude. And look, it's also branded to our lender, see, and to us. And so then we go, every, every time we'd switch agents, we'd go questions. Anybody have questions, right? And then we'd continue. Step five, step six. And then step seven, home inspection. And then switching agents, questions. Anybody have questions? Then we'd go into eight. Uh, and just wanted to gauge everybody up so that they understand here. And step, or step nine? Step nine, appraisal. And the lender would come in and talk. Again, right? He interject right in between everything. Then step 10, he'd talk about that. Step 11, final walkthrough. And then 12 and 13, uh, we have a little bit of fun and then we say, hey, this is your favorite part, step 14. And then we say, anybody have any questions? Great. So one of the things we'll be doing, this is how I end it. One of the things we'll be doing is we'll be sending this to you. It's, a, it's recorded already so you can take a look at it. And we'll also send you the slides so you can take a look at them. And we'll also be calling you to see how we can help you out if, if at this point you do need our help. And at that point, uh, we end it. And, uh, and that's how we do it, dude. We completed the whole cycle. and. Uh, that's it. I mean, really, in its simplest form, break it down. It's a slideshow over a Zoom, but it's what you do in the beginning that you just showed us to get it so now you're on the deck. It's like a casino. What They always dig the hole before you bring the body out to the desert. You're doing the work first. <laughs> That's exactly so, it. <laughs> you know? So, that, I mean, all this stuff you do up front, you, it, it makes the day of the event so you can be yourself and just let it flow and roll. That's the most important part because people are coming to – hear you and to see you and to get some of your excitement over somebody else's excitement because they want to work with you and that's why they're coming to this presentation they want to work with you they want to be excited and they want you to be comfortable so do all that upfront work all that background work and the day of you just come in and be yourself that's it dude that's the key just pre preparation and there are a lot of stops uh, steps involved in this and i don't think i realized how many steps were involved and it was like a team effort again it was a team effort on this one um, I was more in charge of building the ads and understanding the back end and tweaking it until it worked. Because the very first one we ran, we did it through Eventbrite and we only had one person register that week. I was like, oh my gosh, what a waste of money, right? And then I tweaked it and I said, let's just go all in on lead ads. And that's when I started getting a ton of more people. Uh, so uh, guys, if you want the recording, if you want this one specifically, it'll take about two days. Uh, if you want one that I recorded previously, there's the link on the chat box. So I just have to tell you to subscribe and watch. Thanks, Trevor. Appreciate that. This way you can do that. And Trevor, one of the things that I didn't talk about, we've got a few minutes, but for those of you that are still on, if you can automate some of the process where the leads come through and send out then the Zoom link because you already have it, right? And then send out maybe some talking points to engage or 
do it after this is over and you've already got everybody set up on, let's say on Shout Boss, and you know how many people registered, you click go as soon as this is over, everybody gets the link and they start engaging with you, right? And now you all of a sudden created an automated drip to re-engage these people that were interested in purchasing a home. Right. It's so key. And because you can make this so specific to like a second homes or military buyers or first home buyers or sellers or investors, you can make all of your follow-up branding specific to those messages. So again, it's not like spaghetti on the wall when the, when the lead talks to you or gets your message, it's relevant because it just happened and it's the same thing you talked about with them. So they will easily engage with you. I think. That's it, dude. That's it. The higher, the higher, con the higher, uh, the questions bring in the higher quality. That is really, I think a lot of people are scared about that when they do Facebook ads or like, I don't want to put too much. I won't get any leads, but I'd rather have fewer leads and higher quality, especially coming off Facebook. If I'm paying seven bucks a lead, I want it to be a good lead. And I can do that by breaking those questions yeah. out. Those questions are really important and the follow-up too. That's why I would bring something like Shop Boss into this to automate that follow-up because it would then help me convert some of these leads longer term because not everybody on here is going to purchase in the next 90 days. Even if they right. said they were, it could be a year, right? Sure. So, uh, Absolutely. Pat, I, used, uh, I used Google Slides to create those. That was It was uh, easy because it's all already on there. You could use PowerPoint. You could use whatever you want. Um, uh, Katrina, are you using a microphone out? No, I am using a microphone. Thank you, Katrina. And I also have a, I also have a YouTube video on the equipment I use. <laughs> if you want, it came out just the other day, right? Just it came just out. came out two days ago. Yeah. Um, and then, guys, I will share the slides. Uh, I think I have a couple of things in there that I just need to remove. I'll post those into Lab Code Agents over the next two days. So go back to Lab Code Agents. I will pin it to the top. I'll just require you to put in your, probably your email address and where you work, just so I can add that to our lab code agents database. And then you guys can download it for free. So you definitely go and subscribe to that YouTube and watch that video because it, it's an only an hour long, but it is, I mean, it walks you through. If you had two screens up, you could just do it in an hour and you could literally bang, bang, bang. It, it really is everything. I mean, it, it's so well laid out and uh, it's, it's not, it's only an hour to watch and, because there is such you know good amount of background work to do but it's it's again yeah, simplest form guys you're just doing a slideshow on zoom so there's no there's no sweat about that part it's just getting these just this, this upfront process digging the hole before you bring the body out to the desert get that done and, and this this becomes something you could do every week for buyers and your sellers segment your database out just get your first time buyers get get your sellers out it really makes it um but again, just when I, as soon as I saw it, there was so many pillars I got. I got really excited about it. Well, Trevor, this was your idea to jump on here, so thank you. I wouldn't have done a, a webinar. I would have just continued to send people to the YouTube page, but I, I, I'm glad we did this. Thank you. What's, um, yeah, me too. What's the website we would send people to for um, for your product? Is it just Shoutboss? Oh, sure. So, yeah, shoutboss.com, um, pretty much S-H-O-U-T-B-O-S-S.com. And, again, we're, we're automated lead follow-up, bring list voicemail, text and email campaigns. We're easy to work with. We're all three of us are realtors. Um, are realtors. Uh, every one of our clients has our cell phone. Like we're we're like we don't leave our brothers and sisters hanging. We're um, we're we're right there with you. So if you have some questions, we'd be happy to help you out. Dude, I appreciate that a lot, and and thanks for bringing it to to my attention that we needed to do this. That was I didn't realize it's that. So thank you. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Thanks. Thank you because you know your time is valuable and you bring so much to the community. Hey, man, you should have been in the mafia. You keep on referencing uh, ditches and dead bodies. I love that. I grew up in Rhode Island, so, you know. <laughs> All right, let me put it one more time, guys. I'm going to put the YouTube uh, link because I know you keep on asking for it. There you go. And do me a favor and visit, uh, visit Shout Boss. That's where you can automate a lot of those texts that go out. It's not just texts. It's texts, email. Is it email, voicemail, and video text as well? So... Everything combined in, we can pretty much do whatever you need. Um, easy to do, and it's super affordable because it doesn't need to be expensive. Uh, get your follow up in there. But thank you. This was uh, this was what we are. Our crew was really psyched for this, so I appreciate it. And, and Jake, appreciate your time today too. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Trevor. Yeah, I'll do a heart back to you, bro. Thanks. <laughs> uh.